Hey everybody, this is DayZ. Um, so, basically DayZ came out on five, four days ago. Um, on the on the PC, this is the standalone version, and I thought, well, I've been playing a bit. I've been playing like I played about three hours or so, and I thought, why not just have a wee look at the game and we'll make some videos because it's good fun, and I might as well be productive with videos while I'm playing it because I probably will play this quite a lot. So, game early access, just recently released, sold a hell of a lot of copies. I think it sold somewhere in the region of like 175,000 copies already. Which is nuts! It's crazy, crazy volumes of game. Um, and at the moment it's in a very, very early alpha. Um, uh, we, we should probably be um, looking at the game um, under that pretense because there's a lot missing from the game. Um, at the moment it's basically Cross Country Simulator 2014, sometimes with the occasional zombie. And um, the zombies are not threatening, so the most threatening thing in the game so far is, um, is other people and hunger and thirst. Um, I, I seem to find that drinking and eating is more of a hassle than meeting zombies. Zombies, I meet them and I'm like, well, say hello to my axe, which I'll pop you in the face with if, if we have to do so. So I'll, I'll actually show you so we can go... Wait, stop running. So th this is my guy here. He's um, a scary looking gentleman with a hat on and this mask thing. Um, he looks menacing. I've got an axe, and I've got a backpack, I've got lots of stuff, things that I don't need. I've got bullets, but no gun. I've got pliers, I've got two health pack things. I've got food, I've ate most of my tuna. Um, I've got a can of juice, I've got this and that and whatever else, a flashlight, handcuffs, kinky, kinky times and Daisy. Um, so we're, I'm at this town, so I came to this like town over here and I seen this kind of like industrial looking building that's on these railroads and I was going to follow the train tracks to see where they, they inevitably take us because always, so basically to find the town I've followed um, overhead electrical cables. I thought I'll follow the the electricity and see where it goes. Hope, hello, running about. <laughs> the controls are a bit twitchy at the moment. Um, uh, anything I can do here? No. Uh, you're very twitchy at the moment, so if you double tap um, the W key, you do sprinty sprinty and stuff like that. So this is all stuff that's been in the um, the mod. I believe it's the same kind of city, town, area. Um, hmm. There's a lot of stuff going on here and I'm, I'm nervous about there being people. I keep pressing the, the tab key assuming that it will bring up a list of people's names, but it doesn't do that. It just brings up your items and stuff. Can I get in this building is what I'm thinking. No. Was there a door around here and I've just walked past it? I spend a lot of my time trying to get in places. I'm like, well, uh, how would someone deal with... Did I hear stuff? There's a lot of that as well. There's a lot of me stopping and thinking, I heard something. There's something somewhere and it wants to kill me. So we'll just sprint up here again and we'll see if there's a door. If not, we're going to follow the train tracks and see what it takes us. I've basically um, taken what I wanted from the, the town place. Did I climb up the ladders? Is that really a good idea? I can't get in here. No, nope, we'll just leave it then. We're going to go this way. There's actually lots of industrial buildings over here. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I want to investigate. One of the things I wanted to say about the game, firstly, is it looks fantastic. Um, although it's still very early on, a lot of the... Mm. I keep getting scared by the noise of me walking through metal areas and it makes a kind of fence noise. The clink, 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 clink kind of noise and it makes me nervous. Um, but, I mean, at the moment, with it being very bare, it is just about surviving, like just walking about finding stuff. I mean, every time I've met a zombie, I've popped it once with my axe and it's died. I don't know if that's going to be like, oh, there's actually shops and stuff here. It looks like, it looks like this is like another town. This is not the town that I came from. This is kind of down a bit. Um, I guess we should check out the shops. Um, I did meet a guy over here. Um, I, I didn't have my mic on at the time, so I couldn't speak to him, but he was saying stuff to me, and I was like, I, I ain't got nothing for you, sir. Um, can I... Prone? And just climb through here. Yeah! That's how we do. So we're, we're now sneaky, sneaky, sneaky guy. Um, any stuff? I'm gonna right-click. Right-click seems to make me walk instead of run, so... We'll just walk about and see if we can find it. So there's boots! What, what nick are the boots in? They are pristine hiking boots. Now, I'm wearing a pair of wellies at the moment. <laughs> My Wellingtons. I'm not sure if I want to... Well, do I want to swap them out? Do I have space to swap them out? I'm carrying all kinds of shit like a black hat and all kinds of stuff. Um, what are you? You're a can opener. I need you because if you open your can with your axe, then you lose most of your food. Um, I don't need a cap. What do I need a cap for? Nothing. Um, can I take these and put them in here? I'll, I'll keep them for later, you never know when a pair of extra boots will come in handy. I've got a pair of shoes as well. I'm like a shoe salesman, a travelling shoe salesman is what I am. What is this? Are you tuna? Or sardines? Hey, we're we gonna... It's, it's, it's a bit glitchy trying to get to items. Um, okay, so well, I need to like, walk into this and then 
for you. Yeah, take it. We'll take the tuna. Does that mean we've got more tuna? Yeah, tuna. Good. So we're basically good on food. What are you? Jacket thing. You look like a pair of trousers or something. Uh, that's what I'm wearing already. I've already got a pair of winter hunter pants. They've got like six individual, like one space slots, which is quite good. Um, so I'm, I'm like quite good for carrying stuff. I've got a backpack that's got all my stuff in it. I feel good. I feel like I'm, I'm doing the good, doing good work, doing the Lord's work by killing zombies. Oh, a door. Hello, door. What have you got in? Oh, clothes on the floor. I like it. I get excited when I see stuff. I'm like, well, there's things. What are you? A pair of gloves? Can I wear the gloves? I think it might be brown working gloves. Nice. They just go up there. What? what can, the prest, pristine brown. Oh, I'm hungry. Wait, hold on. Hungry. We, we'll just eat some tuna. Not inspect. We'll just eat. Go on. On you go, son. And I'll have a drink in real life as well. Um, are we still hungry? I think it usually gives you your, like, um, what do you call it? Your status, like, kind of up here next to your guy. So I think we're fine for food. Are these? I keep hearing noises. It's terrifying. Um, is this, this is a door that does open. That's opening out to nowhere. I'm going to close you again because that's scary. Outside is scary. Um, what are these over here? Is this just a pair of... It's a t-shirt. Damaged t-shirt. I ain't got no time for no damaged t-shirt. I'm only sporting the best of wares. Um, so I guess we've got lots of exploring to do, which is fun, intimidating, it's daunting, but it is fun. Um, there's stuff in here as well, probably. Um, it looks like a lot of this area hasn't been investigated. What is that? Are you a baseball bat? I'm not. I'm not going to take it. I'm going to leave it for someone else because I've got enough. Like, if, if you can see it in the bottom, I've got like a, an axe and a knife. I don't really need. I need a gun. Is what I need. I need something to shoot my bullets. Something to shoot my bullets. That sounded so rude. Like something I would. Like a, something someone would do on a Friday night after a few pints and going to the pub and seeing a woman, you're like, I want to shoot some bullets. <laughs> I'm going to take some soda and I'm going to drink it. I've already got another can, but I need I need some sustenance. Damaged? Okay. Is it damaged because I opened it? Nice. So, a nice lineup of shoes. I feel like I'm a, a, I don't know, a burglar or something with my gloves and my mask and all that. Like just running about stealing stuff. But at the same time, we must survive. Oh, 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 what's up here? So there's another can of juice. I'm going to take the juice. Food stuff is fair game. Like, I'm going to leave weapons and stuff for other people. Um, I don't really need sports shoes, to be honest. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Do I need another hat? Badly damaged hat. You can go away. Yeah, what else do I have here? What else we got? Um, they're pristine, so I want to keep them. I, I don't really think I need the wrench. The food stuffs and the can openers are must. Like that's a definite. Like we will absolutely take that. Um, pop you in there. Good, good, solid, please. Solid, please. What is this? You're you're a different bag. Are you a better bag? Oh, I think you're the same same size. Are you? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. One, two, three, four, five by. One, two, three, four, five by five. Yeah, five by. So that, that I'm gonna leave that. There's well. Can I swap you for? I like the blue bag better. <laughs> it, it suits me better. What were you doing on the floor, bag? Right, we'll place all our stuff in there. I think the blue bag is much more befitting of the character that I am. I just like the colour blue. I prefer it to, to like, violet or pink, which a lot of the items have been so far. I found the pink cat and I was wearing it and I think they were laughing at me. The zombies and other people, they were just like, ha ha, look at that idiot with his pink hat on. <laughs> Plus, I think it, it suits to blend in better with the environment. Um, blue is a much more natural colour than purple, I think. I don't even know why I'm carrying that gas canister around. I don't know if it'll be useful in any way. But we're, we're collecting goods and that's that's the important thing about the, the whole situation. So, uh, any doors that I can open over here? No. No. Well, I guess we'll, we'll get on our way then and we'll leave some stuff. So, a hat and a pair of shoes for someone else to come and find. So we've got enough food and drink to last us for a little while, so I might as well like, go down the the route that I was intending to go down. Hold on, what, what else is around here? So there's shops and stuff. I mean, are these all... Yeah, these are all... I, I have to search them all. It's, it's important that... Oh, wait, I've been here before, haven't I? Yeah, I've, I've seen that t-shirt before. I know, I know that t-shirt inside out. <laughs> um, there's lots of buildings, though. So the game does have a lot of stutters and slowdowns. Um, that's just a kind of consequence of playing... 
a game in alpha. Um, it's definitely not my rig because my rig is more than capable of dealing with- What is this? What is this? That looks like a- A pen! Pen paper! What are we doing? Writing letters now? Letters to zombies? Please don't bite me. My brain is not as tasty as you may think. So there's another canister of gas. But I don't really need that. What are you? Cereal! Are you cereal? Um, yes, we'll eat it. Why not? While it's here. I'll leave the baseball bat again, but food is, is important. So one of the things I've been wondering is... Um, oh, no. Put, put that... Put, put the bat down! Oi, bat. Baseball bat. You, you need to get... Oh, there we go. That's what you do. You right click, I forgot. Uh, or you left click or just click the X. And what are you? You're a hat. Lots of headwear. It seems to be the case that people have just like they've been like, no, don't don't bring the hats. Just we'll leave with everything else. Just forget the, forget your hat. Your head won't get cold. Bring the TV and everything else. Don't worry. <laughs> um, did we come up here already? I don't think we did. Where are you? Oh, oh. I think you look properly scary. So what's what's up with you? What's your status? Damaged. Airborne pollutants. Uh, what do you look like on the face? Do I wear the mask? I mean, I, I like- Oh, that's badly damaged, and this is only slightly damaged. I think we'll take the gas mask, to be honest. As much as my scary mask is cool, I prefer the gas mask. I think someone's been up here already. Um, I hope it wasn't my, my chum that I met earlier on. I met the guy wearing a, a gas mask, and he was, like, pleasant, but he may have died horribly. Cargo pants, um, same amount of pockets. I'm just basically looking for clothing that can store the most amount of stuff. Is that another pen? I keep seeing it, I'm thinking, are they syringes? Are people being taken heroin up in this up in this business? Or are we just forgetting the zombie situation and just going directly to drugs? That's bad news, I'll tell you. Not that I know about drugs or zombie situations, but you can never be too sure. You want to be on your A game, you don't want to be on your I'm stoned at my face game. Lots of, what the last man? What a morbid book to be, just lying about, someone reading that shit, like, oh, it's the end of times, we might as well read the most miserable book we can find. What are you, you? The Hidden Children! Exactly, just what I like to see. Books about children hiding. Very good. Let's leave this place. What's across the road? So many buildings! This is the thing, like, the game was, at the start, very boring because I spawned and like a shit, like just a dreadful little town with nothing going on. It's like a crane! There's a crane! I need to go and search the crane. Um, in fact, I want to go over here first. You'll notice a game that's um, a zombie game. They're, they, they meant as- oh, what are you? Green t-shirt, ain't got no time for you. Uh, a game about zombies, there's very few zombies to be making it a zombie game. This is more a, a post-apocalyptic survival game at the moment. Um, it's nothing like the, the mod, I mean, if you recall the mod being rather fast-paced and full of... Is that another med... I'm gonna leave that. I, I can't keep taking stuff that I don't need. I've got two med packs already. As much as I'd love to take it, I'm gonna leave it for someone else. That's the kind of man I am. Um, sunglasses? What are you? Badly damaged designer sunglasses. Ain't got no time for you. Would you, sir? Uh, do you know what it is? I'm just looking for a gun. Uh-huh, what are you? You're like a... Uh, checked shirt. No, our, our hoodie's got more pockets. Pockets are the the commodity at the moment. <laughs> um, can I take you? Yeah, I'll take you. Maybe we can trade in, in, in cola. We've got enough cans of juice to last us a lifetime. Our teeth are... Oh, I guess our teeth falling out is the least of our worries. We don't really have many foods to chew. Um, and we don't really want to bite zombies if we if we don't need to. Um, so, yeah, so... A lot of it has been exploration, me looking for some. I'm gonna walk for a while. We can we'll walk and talk. We'll walk and talk. Uh, this is the way I wanted to go. So yeah, so it's, it's, it's been fun. Um, it's not been threatening at all in terms of like zombies or things trying to bite me, but you never know. We might just be in a particularly calm area. It might just be that the, the area's already been expunged of all zomboids. Um, I, I mean, I'm interested by what's in here. Trees and stuff. Shrubbery. The remnants of life. Newspapers, boxes of matches. It do you know what it reminds me of actually? It reminds me of the Stalker series an awful lot. 
I think with it being like first person perspective, because um, of course the the mod was primarily third person. You could play it first person, but it, it just didn't work very well, or at least I didn't think it worked very well first person. But this has been kind of designed to be first person, I believe. Oh, hello. A little bit of stutter there as I bring the old hands out. It could be also because I'm recording it um, from the same hard drive, which could be causing the problems. Uh, another cycling or bike helmet. I'm going to put you away. Gloves. Glove hand. You can go away for just now. Um, I'll check upstairs here and we'll see if there's anything going on. And if not, oh, we've been here before. I need to start like, oh, uh, no, I don't need any duct tape. Me getting excited by tape. <laughs> It's just items. I'm like, oh, do we need it? Do, is there a use for it? We could probably use it to patch ourselves up if we die or we'll get damaged. What is that? Yes. Um, absolutely, we'll take some bullets. Never know when that will come in handy. Lots of bullets just sitting about, but no guns. Yet. Or you? You're a hat. No need for you. I've got enough things to wear in my head. To, <laughs> enough things to wear in my head to last me a lifetime, to be honest, if we're being honest about things. I am a shoe and hat salesman by trade, and zombie killer by hobby. So let's see. So the train tracks, we're still kind of running the... the let's have a look down here. Is there anything, anything going on? I hear... I think I hear seaside. But that can't be, because I was in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. But if there's cranes, then there must be water. Yeah, there is! You motherfucker! Look at me go, I'm, I'm at the seaside already. So this is like a shipping area. Hmm. Water, I see. Um, I guess we go this way then. But that, that could mean good things, that could mean that these are all storage areas, um, and that they'll have, like, stuff. Well, of course they'll have stuff if they're storage areas, but I need a gun, is all I'm looking for here. What, is, what, what are you? You're a battery? I will take you, unless you're used already. Damaged. Hmm. What are other batteries? What, status? Worn? Pristine? Hmm. I don't think we'll, we'll grab the other battery. You can lick the battery, I think. Can I lick? Can I... What does that do? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Testing for charge. I get it now, game. I get it now. Um, so, I guess this is where the train tracks go to then. But that must mean they'll lead to other places. I mean, a train track doesn't exist to just be there. There's obviously going to be something at the other end of the train track. And that's my, um, kind of, my basis of following the train track. Because it will take us to another large or sizable settlement. So you have to think about if you were in a situation where you had to survive, what would you do? What would you do? Uh, ooh, what's in here? I mean, I don't even know if there are guns. I don't, I've not really read the the notes on the the um, the alpha. I'd imagine there would be weaponry, though. I mean, it can't just be like I can't be just asked to use an axe to fight off zombies all the time. I mean, the axe is very useful and it works. Um, but I'd like a gun. I'd like a gun just so I had more presence among- It's the humans that I'm scared of, the other people. The humans are bad. They're the worst kind of people. <laughs> the humans are the worst kind of people. Um, I, I ran quite fast there. Um, do we go up? Yeah, we go up. Hey, up, up please. There we go. Oh, hello, animation. That seems to go on forever. <laughs> um, Another baseball bat. Maybe it's just melee weaponry. Maybe there's no guns. Or maybe everyone's found the guns. So, um, there we go. Nice. So if we fall off, we, we take damage, which sucks. We, we don't want to fall because if we do fall, we're probably going to die. Um, a horrible, horrible death. So as you see, the animation there's not very finished at all. But it's, you still get the idea of what's going on. <laughs> I guess. I hope. Um... But, I mean, as you can see, I've seen no zombies. I've seen no people so far in the time we've been recording. Um, I guess we're just going to have to continue on this way. Oh, is that something in the distance? No. Nope, nothing. Not not even any excitement. Oh, wait, hold on. This is like a container area. This could be where the money is. So, I believe this was... Uh, I mean, I believe all of this was part of the... 
the mod and the door no nothing but in the mod when you're here like the minute a zombie hears you you've got like 400 of them chasing you down and this i'm like well i've seen a zombie once but um I, I couldn't be too sure it might have just been a person with the flu who knows i popped him with my axe and he died anything oh what are you you or something on the ground a hat good we can hat the zombies and that's not going to really be useful what are you are you a gun no you're a wrench Hmm. Indeed. We continue our quest for weaponry. Any... Any zombies? Anything at all? Is there anyone? Anyone at all? No, oh, just... Anyone about? Is there anyone home? Any... Any people? Because if there's any people, then it would be nice to, to speak to someone. There we go. See if that... <laughs> heals anyone if anyone hears my... Calls for... Some human contact any of these open I'm just hoping one of these is like an illegal shipping container full of guns like full of AK-47s or something that would be pretty cool you just bust it open and you're just like it rains guns upon you but in a good way like softly like into your hand rather than like falling onto you and making you painful <laughs> but no nothing of the sort um, controls are are very twitchy at the moment um, I don't know if I particularly enjoy the control system um, I think it might be just the... Oh. Oh. What's over here? Is this where... Oh, this is where I came from. I know that place already. I've been there before. So this must be the other side of the town then. Because I came in from the forest. Not the sea. So I came in... So we basically made our way all the way out to the, the coast. I wonder if it's... I mean, it's probably worth our time going inward. Um, I think this has been explored recently because the doors are open. Usually that's an indicator that someone's been about. What's up here? So something on top of that that I can perchance no nothing at all. Oh game, throw me a bone here, give me a gun. That's all. That's all I'm asking for is just a a piece of gun, a piece, uh, just one piece of gun, please. One slice, <laughs> a slice of gun. What am I talking about? This looks like it could have something useful. Please. What 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 are you actually? Room. What is this room? Is this for clothes? Now, if there was going to be one place full of clothes, I would expect it to be the clothes factory, but... What are you? You just paid a pair of pants. Pair of pants! As the Americans would say. Can I not have you? No. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't want me to pick up items. It's just like, well, you, you're you near enough, but you can't quite pick it up. You've developed <laughs> a mental illness quite recently and you, and you can't pick it up. Sorry! What are you? You're definitely a thing. You're a battery. What? Worn? Hmm. We'll leave it for someone else. If it was pristine, however, I would take it because I'm that kind of guy. But we'll leave the the worn battery for other people. So, I guess we go this way. Follow the coast. Uh, that's another useful tip, I guess, if you were ever in the wild or lost. Is if you find the coast, follow the coast because the coast will always have something there. Like there's always going to be something on the coast. And there's like there's virtually nowhere that's like habitable that doesn't have something along the coast. I mean, you can talk about like places in like the north of Canada or like like very cold or horrible, but they're not habitable. You can't live in that shit. I mean, you can, but it's not very pleasant. It, it probably quite bothersome. I think we've done a big loop de loop of the town, and we're now back at the town. I like how this road just ends abruptly, like with nothing, no signs in it. It's just like, well, you've reached the end of the world. You're fucked. <laughs> um, this has not been investigated, however. And this could have the riches that we need. So it's a nice living area. There's a bucket with no bottom. To oh, it's a b who wants a bucket with no bottom? It's it's just like, no, you can wear it as a hat, I guess, but that's not really... That's beside the point. Who cuts the bottom off a bucket? What kind of sick... People just want to watch the world burn, is what they'd want to do. Um, or just kind of vaguely think that they may have caused inconvenience to someone else by cutting the bottom of a bucket out. I mean, they're not really watching. I doubt they've got, like, webcams and shit set up for watching people. Books. I, I could become the most well-read person. Uh, there's another violet bag. Wait, hold on. We should always just check the bag just in case. No, it's got nothing in it. Just in case someone's, like, dropped it and it's got stuff. Oh, hello. We're now on the floor for some reason. The floor is not where we need to be. We need to be... Uh, that's horrible. Um, I guess they 
were a bit liberal with the tomato sauce there. Hey, what are you? You're a pair of green jeans. No time for green jeans. None at all. Well, we, we go into town and we see if we can find someone to smack over the head with their axe and steal their stuff. I mean, we could, I could search every one of these houses, but... Oh, but Martin, you rascal, you're losing your connection there, son. Um, there could be... Well, what's over this way? This is where we came from. There's a zombie! Uh, as if... Look at it, it's just standing there. It, it sees me. I'm just gonna get my axe out. There we go. Hi, love! What you wanting? Hey, steady on here. I think, I think, oh, we, we need to bandage ourselves because the, the motherfucker got us. Um, use, please. We could use the, um, I am no longer bleeding. Good. We could have used the, um, the bandages from our med packs, but they're too good to use. I didn't really want to use them. That was, um, unusual. That's the first time I've taken damage from a, from a zombie. The other time I took damage was just fall damage, that's why I was kind of careful about saying do not fall, because it hurts. But interesting, I mean, we've we've met a zombie and it died with one hit of an axe. Um, it didn't really put up much of a resistance. <laughs> it didn't seem too bothered by the fact that it was going to pop up with an axe. Um, no, v to climb over things. Um, well, I guess we're going to go inland then and follow this train track. Where it takes us, no one knows. Well, I, I might know. Well, I don't really know. I don't. I don't know the layout. Finding a map would be useful if we could do that. Um, but I mean, as you can see, the game is very bare. There, there's not a lot going on at the moment, and I, I guess it's good to make videos in stages of the game so people can see what it's all about. And I'll be making more videos because I do enjoy playing it, and um, and we can kind of what? Oh, hello. There is something over here. What are you? You're another zombie. Hold, hold the phone. You're gonna die. Bonk. <laughs> There we go, just making sure there's no one else around. Just a leg left, it's just a leg. Okay. So, the, for some reason there's lots of zombies around here now. Um, but I'm not sure why. Maybe they're trying to guard something. Maybe the game's telling me those. The axe looks rather pleasant. I mean, uh, from a graphical fidelity point of view. Um, what were you saying? Bumpy road. Bumpy road. I'm going to check this house. Just, just one last uh, shoes. No, no need for shoes. Shoes off at the door. The house is not a mess, honestly. <laughs> shoes off at the door. Imagine it, like zombies just taking their shoes off for you. The rotten orange is not what I need. I need a gun. Please, please, gun. Nope. I don't think this house has an upstairs. Nope. It's just got a door out to the fucking out, out to nothing. Um, so I guess we're following the train track, and um, maybe in the next episode we'll be somewhere. Um, somewhere a little more pleasant? 